Yo, what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Yo, man, I haven't been dropping videos lately, but you know, I'm finally gonna get some free time to do some videos and give you guys information. Um, so you already know what to do, man. You know that I keep it 100 on here and you know that I try to help as many people as possible. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, if you're not new and you've been here before, uh, this is my Instagram page. So um, I don't have a link, a direct link to it, but um, as you, you spell it out, you'll see my face on there. Um, I'm trying to build it up and uh, you can go on there, DM me questions, whatever you want to learn, whatever you have on your mind, you know, like, hey, Juan, should I go for this? Or, hey, should I go for this? Or whatever. And I'll try my best to help you and, you know, put you in the right path to make that solid decision because it's not easy to to pick something. You know, there's so many things out there from, you know, the medical field to teaching to IT. There are just so many things out there that you can do. And, uh, you know, that's the thing about these days, you know, um, you know, our parents, you know, right back in the day, like, you were they were in the zone oh you had to pick one career stay there for 20 years retire but man now it's just so different there's so many avenues you can take so many different paths you can do and and it's tough to choose one you know it's definitely tough to choose a career and that's why i'm here to help you i wish honestly that i had somebody like myself when i started radiology school because um i didn't know what i was getting myself into you know um so it's nice to it, and that's why I do my channel. I was going to say it's nice to have somebody like myself to help. And that's why I started my channel because I want to help you guys. You know what I'm saying? I want to help you guys make the best decision. So today's video is going to be, should I go for this first? Or should I go for this first? And this is what people don't understand, right? Obviously, you can say it's, um, you know, CT and an ultrasound, you know, machine career or whatever, right? So this is my thing. <clears throat> I would go for RT first, radio radiology technologist RT first. What people don't understand man, is RT is your foundation. RT is something that you're gonna do first to get your foot in the door, you know, and build from there. Now, a lot of people don't know this, right? You go to RT school for two years, pass your AART test, and then say you want to go, at least here in Florida, right? I'm, I'm going by Florida perspectives. And say you're a tech for a year and you know, you, you're like, oh, you know what, man? I, like, I think ultrasound was my passion. I want to go back for ultrasound. There's a state college here that you can go back to ultrasound school and it takes one year to get a certificate in ultrasound because you don't need your bachelor's because you already have it because you went to RT first. You know, you set, you set your foundation. So you want to go back to ultrasound is only one year. Now let's, you know, reverse it, right? And say you went first to ultrasound school. Say you went to ultrasound school, took two years, pass your, you know, I think it's a ARMDS or something like that test. I'm not ultrasound tech, but uh, you pass your registry test and then you see the ultrasound side and you're like, you know what? Uh, you know, I think I want to be an RT. So in order for you to become an RT, you have to go back to school for two years. You know, there's no certificate in RT. RT is basically a bachelor's program and you have to have a two year degree for it. You know, so you can't go to ultrasound school for two years and then go to x-ray school for one year. It doesn't work that way. Um, but you can go for RT first for two years and then get a certification in ultrasound for one year. And in three years, you'll have two modalities that you wanted to do instead of trying to go back for four years and be like, man, you know, I kind of could have shed a year. So that's my opinion on it. I don't know how other states are. Um, now, if you feel 100% that you're like, you know what, I wanna do ultrasound only, I wanna see babies, you know, I, and that's, I think that's a lot of people's goal, you know, when you get in the medical field is to see like the cool stuff and to help people out. But when you get in here, you under, you kind of get like a, a glimpse of the real world and it, it doesn't always, it's not always like that, you know? Um, and the only people that I really know are people that have family members that have been in the medical field. And to be honest, most people that are in the, like say for instance, um, I, I get, I, I'm nosy, I ain't gonna lie to you. I like to, I like to, to pick people's brain and kind of understand their mindset. And I just like to, I just like to talk, I like to converse, right? So I always ask people, hey, you know, 
they, they could be nurses or radiology techs or whatever doctors even and be like hey dog do you know that you know what do you what do your kids do and stuff they're like oh they're totally different they do like it or they do this because they see how stressed out we get as you know as medical professionals that's it medical professionals that's the bottom line you know um most of most of our bloodline will not even go into the same field because they see what, what we do like oh you know dad's never home or he's always working crazy hours or he's on call or you know it's like the kids see that and they're like you know what i don't i don't want to be that way you know what i'm saying so um that's the thing man it's like you know the medical field is super stressful but as long as you're you're happy doing what you got what you want to do in life then that's all that matters right but I hope that this helped you guys out there make a better decision and, you know, make a hopefully a solid decision on what you guys would want to do. Um, again, always thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. You know, stay for the next one.